would we incessantly skirmish over how things should go and people should be if we knew that a great field of peace surrounds these tiny places of war and that all we have to do to enter it is decide that we would rather be happy. By consciously choosing to be happy, we leave the battlefield. See, all we can see so many times in our lives, and I like the way he, the, the, the example he gave, is that when we're in the midst of conflict, that seems like all there is. And there's always so much more. What it's trying to say is in the midst of our conflict, there's an entire, entire battlefield of peace. Well, I shouldn't say battlefield. There's an entire field of peace surrounding this little field of conflict. And once we lift our heads out of our conflict or sorrow, when we get down in the dirt and lift our heads out of this conflict and sorrow, we begin to see such a greater perspective than what we saw a moment ago. And it says, so would you rather, so, so that all we have to do is enter it, is to decide that we don't want to stay in the pain. We want to be happy by consciously choosing to be happy. It says we leave this small battlefield and move out into what has always surrounded us, which is this circle of peace, which is this awareness of peace that's all around us. And that's kind of what this is saying. We've made the mistake of thinking that our negativity, our um, uh, depressed thoughts, our suffering buys us something, and it's so important to our well-being, and yet when we lift our heads out of this, we begin to see something so much greater. I know I w we walk all the time. We walk on this trail, and I find myself, you know, you look down, right, where you're walking, so I don't walk in any dog poop. You know, so I find myself, because it's a dog poop trail, too. Dog, dog trail, but I seem to see bo dog poop. But um, I, s I, I noticed that, that I look down a lot, and I thought to myself, why am I doing that? I want to I look up. It's not so pretty down on the trail where I can see broken con, you not broken con asphalt and poop and pee on the side from the dogs over here. And there's a, I, l I see so many things that it's not very attractive. But when I lift my head up, there's beautiful sky and clouds. It doesn't mean that I don't occasionally look down to make sure I'm not stepping in <laughs> poop. But I find it so much more expansive when I lift my head out. But you know what? I realize I have to make a conscious choice to do it. It's not automatic with me. I look down. I look down. And I thought it's kind of a metaphor for life. You know, we look at ourselves, our little selves and our little problems. And we don't look out much. We don't lift ourselves up much to a higher perspective. And that's what his lesson kind of gave me. And then the next one, today's lesson, was just as good. It says, our moments of happiness are like the first tiny green shoots of a new plant. You know how when they're just coming through the ground, have you ever seen a little plant come through the ground? They are fragile and vulnerable to disruptions. Unless we give them the space to grow, they wither away. And this has already happened too many times in our lives. Today, I will be alert to any sign of happiness and will clear the way for it to spread. And I like that because, I mean, and again, again, like holiness, like happiness, it really is your inheritance. It's the truth in you. But sometimes you do have to engender it to allow it to, to find roots inside of us. You know, we have to make it more important than the suffering, may Im make it more important than, th than, the, than the angry thoughts that we like to uh, dwell in and have become so comfortable to us. Those angry thoughts... We've nurtured them. We've dwelled in them. They're like an old slipper. I've said this before, too, in positive and negative senses. If you have an old slipper at home, I don't wear slippers much in the summertime, right? We, they're we, you, nice, fuzzy slippers. I don't wear them very much. But when it's cold, you'll go in there and you'll pull out, out of the closet, those old slippers. You know, and they're pretty worn in because I keep the same old slippers year after year. After. They never go out of style because I don't wear them that much. But when I slip my foot into those old slippers, they got nice wedges. They got little ruts in them. My toes just go right where they need to go, you know? And I think to myself, this is like old thoughts. You know, we've gotten so used to those depressing, angry thoughts. Our, our, we just slip right into them. 